We're here today in a street called Gold Street, which has some really gorgeous shops and places to eat. And you may be surprised to find that many people think this is the coolest street in Devon these days. It's not to be found in Exeter or Plymouth. We're actually right here in Tiverton. So let's have a look around. So the first place we're going to stop off at is Mojo's Hair and Beauty, which is run by a young woman called Charlotte Clapp. She's only in her 20s still, and she is the daughter of the family who've really regenerated Gold Street. And she's in her, what was her family home and is now a thriving business. And she's going to tell us all about how Gold Street has transformed over the years. Can't wait to find out. So Charlotte, tell us how it came about that you and your family lived here, because wasn't this your family home as well as your business? Yeah, we with? moved in 2006, so we sort of did all our teenage years here, yeah. and yeah, and then we um, we opened Salmon out in Sanford Peveril in 2008, um, opened this one in 2010, so yeah, we've been here a long time really. Yes. So tell me about, because this, this street has massively changed, when you first moved here, what was it like? Um, this was the end of town you didn't come to. We kind of moved in and looked around and said to my parents what on earth have you done why, why have you bought this house in this street it's horrendous and it's just changed so much it was just about the time Tesco's moved in and that really started changing things and yeah. then more sort of independent businesses started coming in and the, the pubs started closing down and that did help massively and the only um yeah it's just everybody's everything's come along a lot in the last 10 yes. years yeah because it was uh, would you say a dangerous place to walk around after dark? What was it like? Um, you just didn't really <laughs> do it. It wasn't ideal. There's a few incidences that happened and yeah, you, you just shut the gate and close the door and that was the end of it. You didn't really go out after yeah. dark, but that's completely different now. Like yeah. you've got free through and um, general and like everything else, it just is a really nice place to walk around. It's really peaceful. Yeah, yeah it's just lovely down the centre of town now. What used to be the old Cross Keys pub is right next door to this building. And isn't it true that one of the pub regulars took a shine to your mother at one stage? He picked her up and walked her through our front hallway, kissed her. <laughs> My dad was stood behind, had to try and um, guide him out without causing any problems. Um, it was quite terrifying at the time, but now it's quite an entertaining story to tell. Yes. <laughs> but um, it's just, can, when you look at the street now compared to then, you just can't believe that ever happened because it's such a different place. But at the time it was like, oh yeah, typical. <laughs> like, you just kind of expected it, whereas now it, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. But at the time it was quite terrifying. Um, but luckily Dad had the sense not to kind of kick off. He just sort of pushed him out the door and, and sent him on his way and it was all okay. <laughs> Mum was a bit shook up, but she was okay. She was unharmed. <laughs> just down the road from Mojo's Hair and Beauty, still on Gold Street, there's the Atlantic Gallery, which is where Lizzie Hill worked for quite some time before seeing that this was the up-and-coming place to be, took the plunge and bought the business for herself. Let's go and see what she's selling in here and how it's all going. Hi Lizzie, lovely to meet you. The place looks amazing. It would be great to, if you could just show us what you've got here for sale and what's so special about this gallery. Yes, of course. Um, we represent lots of local artists, which is really, really nice. Um, these are some new paintings we've had in from Megan Players. She's a local artist. She lives in Cove, just outside of Tiverton. And um, they're really vibrant portraits we've got, so they've just come up, which is really good. Should we move over to here? One of our most collectible artists is John Maltby who's worked in clay for over 50 years, so his work's really sought after. So we're really lucky to have his work. And um, lots of people follow him, which is really great. Also, if you follow me over here, these are some beautiful textiles by um, a lady in Exeter. They're called Ruby Cubes. They're all made by one lady, and she hand weaves all of these with unbleached cotton. They make really great presents, and they're really contemporary at the moment with pastel colours. Paula Ewans is a new printmaker. Um, she's part of the Devon Guild as well, and her pieces are really vibrant and lovely. We also have a lot of handmade jewellery as well, which is good. Melissa James is a really good artist for us. She sells really well. There's some of hers over here. These are all handmade pieces, really vibrant, um, precious stones and silver. And they make really nice gifts, so they're selling really well at the moment. 
Our last stop is a little restaurant called Frufru, which means frilly in French. It was founded by Charlotte's dad, Jan, and his wife, Bev, and has now been bought by Kelly Townsend and her husband, Ian. Now, they are running it very successfully with beautiful French-European food and no fewer than 67 gins. Let's find out more. Yeah, it's going really well. Lots of regular customers. Yeah, very happy. I fell in love with the building the moment I saw it, so yeah, so, but, yeah, really happy. There's a lot of other lovely businesses all around here. How does that work? Is it? Are you in competition with them, or do you think it adds something to have other independent businesses close by? I don't feel there's any competition really. Um, there's lots of lovely shops on Gold Street. They all have their unique qualities, um, you know, and yeah, we, everybody gets along with everybody. It's really friendly, so no, I don't think there's any competition really. We're just all unique. <laughs> so after a nice gin and tonic in Frufru, let's have a chat to the people of Tiverton and see what they think about the transformation of Gold Street. I think it's getting there. I think it's getting there. Uh, I, I think the shops are really brilliant, um, and I think it's a good way to um, sell sell to Tiverton. So yeah. It's interesting because a lot of independent shops here it makes it even more interesting. And as long as all the those shops are sustainable, good luck. It's definitely the trendiest street in Tiverton. Uh, it's the best street in Tiverton and it's got the best shops in it. And I especially like the Atlantic Gallery and the lovely clothes shops in various places and all the artwork and the picture framers and the photographers and it's very cool. It does seem like quite a trendy street, it's, it's much better than a high street in my local town in Cornwall. So yeah, I, I would say it's quite trendy. So that's just three of the lovely businesses here in Gold Street and there are many more on stream and doing really thrivingly well here. I'm a bit of a convert to Gold Street, I think I might come here again, you know, it's rather a lovely place to be. So I'm just thinking that, forget Exeter and Plymouth, I do believe that Gold Street and Tiverton could be the, ter the trendiest town in the whole of Devon. That's Becky Sheaves for Devon Live in Tiverton.